Hello Internet, we're back with our Observer project. Uh, so this, in this video we are going to be t working with regular expressions. Uh, kind of want to get rid of these three text boxes because they're really gross. I have sort of a really basic syntax idea. It probably won't be the final one, but it should be simple and quick to write and also you can do it on one line, which is great. And hopefully it's it's relatively easy to understand. It's kind of based all around this, so we'll see. But I think it should work. Uh, and if it doesn't, then we can change it. You guys can list your suggestions down in the comments. This is just sort of what I've sort of come up with. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh, instead of doing this, actually, hold on. I have a better idea. So <laughs> I think this is going to work. I, I haven't really tried filming like this in a while. But the, the general idea here is we're going to have three, three sections, again, I guess, three groups. So we're going to have our uh, name. OK, that's too big. Uh, face, you're, you're going to stop dying, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we have the, the name here. And then we're just going to, that's going to be some name, uh, effectively light in this situation. And so that can be spaces or whatever. We're separating things by periods, so I'll make that bigger. And then the, the general idea is test one. So the next, the component name that we want to follow. And then at the end, uh, that's actually the next thing, but we'll have our test value. That's behind the mic. This has gone poorly. <laughs> all right, so let's erase all of this. Totally got this, it's fine. <laughs> Name, member, and then our component in the middle because I'm out of order. There, and that final period isn't needed. Great, so that went poorly. But that's all right. So that's sort of what we, we want to build. The general idea being condense it all down and separate things by periods. I think that makes the most sense. It should be relatively straightforward. I don't really, I'm not super good with regular expressions, but I've kind of been playing with them a little bit. I wrote a really gross one recent, recently and still getting over it. So let's just write it here, kind of have a, a private static read-only regex uh, search string and so the idea here is instead of observed name observed component and observed member we're gonna have this single regular expression that is going to look up everything so here's how you create a regex just new regex and then I have a really quick thing because I want to actually use named groups uh, so there's a there's an idea in regular expressions for grouping things where you can surround things like this and then give it a name which we'll call it like our game object name I'm gonna try to be fairly verbose here this is going to get long but I think it, it makes the most sense to just kind of make it a little bit more more verbose <laughs> so we'll do something like this and then surround it in a, another parenthesis. So what this is going to do is it is going to create a group. The parentheses are a group in regular expressions. So that's a, a set of something. And it kind of helps isolate different things. In different frameworks, you can access those groups in different ways. In C Sharp, you can access them either by their name, which is optional, or you can access them by their index. So if I don't want to give it a name, I can delete all this initial stuff and that's that's our regular expression uh, dot star just means dot is going to be any character and then star is going to be at zero or more one or more I think we want a plus uh, which is going to be one or more so I need at least one character or more and that should be good so let's do this this part the part that I have highlighted the question bracket uh, 
square bracket, not square brackets, pointed brackets, and then a, a name is a, a, another way to look these up. So that gives it a nice name. Then I want an actual period. So we're doing a slash dot. I don't actually know how to escape periods. Because so period is a special character in regular expressions. So just using a period isn't actually what you want to do because a period is going to match anything. So I don't want I don't just want a period. I wanted to escape it. Does that does that work? Hold on. Let's do this a better way. Let's put an ad here. There we go. <laughs> so what an ad is going to do is it's going to make it an explicit string, which means we don't escape anything. The advantage of that is I don't need to escape this slash. It should just work. And so now that we have that, I can copy this three times. We're going to be way off the page. One of the disadvantages of using this at, if I do any new lines or anything like that, those new lines are captured inside of this. Any, It's a strict formatting thing. So if you want multi-line text, if you put it on multiple lines in your code, it's going to be multi-line text, which is handy in some cases and less handy in others. But this should be effectively what we want. We have our game object name, and then we have our component name, and then we have our member name. And so by doing this, I should be able to give a uh, create a regular expression parser, give it this regular expression, and give it our string, and then try to parse it out. So hopefully, we can just delete this. <laughs> and instead of having an observe name, private string observe observer query. I think that should work. Sure. And so instead of doing all of this fun stuff, we are going to do observer query equals this. And then I want, I still want an observed name, a observed component and an observed member, but those aren't going to be coming out of text boxes anymore. Instead, those are going to be coming out of our regular expression. So I'm just going to set them all to empty strings for now and delete that. So everything should still work unless I've screwed something up significantly. Like missing a semicolon, there we go. Just checking to make sure there's no syntax errors that it's not showing. Okay, I think we're good. So now we need to parse this. Haven't done this in C sharp in a while, so bear with me. Search string dot match. And we give it the input. So if I give it the observer query, like so, we're going to get this match back, which is a collection of all the things that have been matched with this regular expression. And so matched expression. I should be able to now go matched expression. And how did how do you have to look that up? Hold on. <laughs> Can I just use the name? We're going to try to use the name dot. Doesn't actually say the thing I'm looking at doesn't actually say how to do named ones. So I probably picked the wrong thing to look at, but we're going to try it anyway. Game object name. I don't think that's, oh, no. That didn't work. Okay, great. Wait, match. I think I want matches. I think that makes more sense because we want a, a collection of things that it matched. Uh, and then hold on. What am I doing? None of these make any sense. I'm going to go look this up because I don't know what I'm doing. If that wasn't obvious, no idea what I'm doing. Great. <laughs> so matches and match are different. 
matches is going to take your regular expression and find every instance of a match in a string. So you'll get a collection of matches. Um, different, different, there's, a, there's an apostrophe. <laughs> and so match is just going to find one. At least that's, that's my understanding of it. And so this is going to get us one, and then we have a set of groups inside of that. So this is actually going to pull out our groups, and then we can look that up by name. This is broken right now. That's fine. We can ignore that. And then we need to give it the name based off of what we gave it up in our regular expression. So component name and member name are the other two. Now this is broken because this doesn't return a string. This returns a group collection, which we don't want. We want the value of that group. That was a very weird way to pronounce value, but yeah, we want to we want to get the value of that. So this is going to say find the game object name from this regular expression, and then take the value of that and put it in observed name. And then we have all these null checks. So if those don't work or this regular expression didn't find anything, I think we should be good. We might get out of bounds exceptions trying to look these up. So we can do this, but I'm going to leave that out. Uh, null coalescing operator is what I was thinking of. That won't work in old versions of C sharp. So we're going to leave that out. Uh, it, it just doesn't work. So hopefully we're good. And if not, Oops. <laughs> All right. So if I did this right, I should be able to go light dot transform dot position. Ta da! That's fancy. <laughs> and so this way I can kind of just type it all in one line and it's it's relatively easy to search for this stuff. And so I should be able to go like directional and it'll still work or type well, it's something that's shared in A. Sure. And this gets our main camera in there as well. So now we have our main camera and all the directional lights. Great. And if we want to go even deeper, we can do like test component. That's not how you spell component at all. Test component doesn't have a position. It has test one or not. What's on there? It is test one. Uh, we need to actually correctly capitalize it though, because that one is not the same as our actual component name. Because I'm very good at consistency. We can clear all of that up later. This kind of helps us kind of explore how both of these would compare. So if I wanted to do test component in all caps for whatever reason, I can do that and it works. I don't know if that's an advantage or a disadvantage. You guys can kind of give me feedback on that one. I'm not entirely sure, but it's there. <laughs> so I think this is, this is a good place to be. It seems to be working. I can't, there we go. We can look up lights and everything just with this basic syntax and the regular expression is not, not super difficult. So it works just like that. And since we use periods, uh, this will actually work with spaces too, or it should. So I can do directional space light and it still works. Um, that's probably not the best way for that to work, but it's a way for it to work. So yay. This also is pretty limiting as far as syntax goes. If we want to do anything other than this, we're stuck. So this probably needs to change for more complicated things. But as like a shorthand, I think this works really well. It's pretty easy to write and it just works. So yeah, I'll leave this here. I think this kind of covers a very basic amount of me messing up regular expressions because that's just what happened. Uh, and then actually getting this working and hopefully making this a little bit easier to use. So I'm hoping to get this out on GitHub soon. I uh, kind of got held up and hopefully it just goes smoothly. There's not really much here. It's literally one, one code file. This is the entire file uh, right now. It's probably going to grow as we get more and more things and start abstracting things out and testing things. 
But for now, it's it's literally just one file. So I'm going to hopefully have this up on GitHub by the time you see this video. And if not, yell at me in the comments. I shouldn't say that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, do that because otherwise I'll just keep forgetting. So I'll leave this here. If you guys have other suggestions on things we can do to make this better, let me know in the comments. But that's it for this video. So until next time, see you, internet.